Chrome OS is a popular operating system made by Google. It's a very lightweight operating system. It's popular for its Android and Linux app support. Chrome OS is exclusive to Google's Chromebooks and Chromebox devices. There's still no official way to install it on your Windows PC or laptop. Google launched another operating system called Chrome OS Flex for PCs and Macs, but it does not come with a Google Play Store, which makes it somewhat unpopular among tech enthusiasts. This is however an unofficial way to download and install the latest Chrome OS on your laptop and PC. For that, we need to download a couple of files and perform some steps. We'll discuss all of that in this video. So let's see how to download and install Chrome OS and Google Play Store on a Windows PC. Before going ahead, you should know that we are going to install Chrome OS as the primary OS on our PC and replace the Windows OS completely. So make sure you proceed taking a backup of all your important data. First of all, boot your computer into BIOS by holding down the BIOS key. You need to disable secure boot from the BIOS of your computer. While you are here, also find something called virtualization and enable it. On modern computers, it's enabled by default. So if you don't see this option, then it must be enabled already. Now we need to download the Chrome OS recovery image. As Google doesn't provide the Chrome OS image file, we'll download it from a third party website. On your browser, enter cross.tech. There are different Chrome OS images available for different CPUs and generations. You need to know which Chrome OS image you will require for your PC. For Intel 3rd gen or older CPU, you need to download Samus. Samus is the code name of the recovery image. Similarly, Intel 4th and 5th gen CPUs download Ramos. From the 6th gen to the 9th gen, download Shaivana. For 10th gen Intel CPU, download Jinian. For 11th and above, download Voxel. And for the AMD Ryzen CPU, download Gumbos. As you can see, I have an Intel Core i3 8th gen CPU. So I'm gonna download the Shaivana recovery image. Just type your codename here. Then download the latest table build, which is 121 for now. Also, we'll require the latest Sebong branch file to make all of this work. You can download it from GitHub. After downloading, extract the files using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now create a folder and name it Chrome OS. Then move the extracted file into this folder. Rename the recovery file to Chrome OS. The next step is to install the Ubuntu terminal on our system. To do so, open PowerShell as administrator. Enter this command into the PowerShell window. This will install Virtual Machine Platform Windows Subsystem for Linux and Ubuntu on your system. Now reboot your PC to make the changes take effect. After reboot, the Ubuntu terminal will automatically launch and ask you to create a username and password. Just do it.
Then enter this command to install PV and CGPT packages. Now you have to mount the directory where the download files are located. Type cd space slash mnt slash then type the folder path in small letters. After that enter this command to create a chrome os disk image file. This process can take 15 to 20 minutes depending on your hard drive speed. So please wait. After the process finishes, hit enter and exit the Ubuntu terminal. We have created Chrome OS disk image. Now we have to make a bootable USB drive using a program called Rufus. Download Rufus from its website. Open it. It will automatically detect a USB pen drive. You just need to select the Chrome OS disk image file from your Chrome OS folder. Then start writing it to the USB. Our Chrome OS bootable USB is now ready. If you want to install the Chrome OS on this PC, then keep the USB plugged in and restart the PC. While restarting, press and hold the boot menu key. From the boot menu, select a USB drive and hit enter. After booting into the USB, branch will mount the root file system. So please wait a few minutes. After that, it should show the welcome screen. The Chrome OS is not yet installed on your hard drive. It's just running from the USB. To install Chrome OS on your hard drive or SSD, you have to run a few commands using a shell window. We can do so by using Chrome OS as a guest. While the browser is open, press Ctrl plus Alt plus F2 to open a shell window. Type root and hit enter. We need to find out the disk name in which we will be installing the Chrome OS. For that, type this command. This command will present you with all the storage and partitions on your system. We need to determine which disk is our target disk for installation. In general, it should be SDA or NVMe. I have a 500 GB hard drive and a 250 GB SSD on my computer. I am going to install Chrome OS on the NVMe SSD drive. To do so, type this command. At the end, type your disk name. For me, it's NVMe 0 and 1. The installation can take time depending on your disk speed. After it's done, you'll see a message saying that Chrome OS was installed. Now you can just shut down your computer, remove the USB drive and power on the computer again. Now your computer should boot into the Chrome OS you just installed. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your new Chrome OS.
You can now start using Chrome OS with the Google Play Store pre-installed. You can download and use a variety of Android apps from the Play Store. You can do video editing, photo editing and other creative work on a larger screen with your favorite Android apps. You can even play popular Android games like PUBG, Call of Duty, etc. Many people also wanted to use Google Assistant on their Windows laptop. Windows 10 has Cortana Assistant, but it's not very intuitive and rarely anyone uses it nowadays. Chrome OS supports Google Assistant, so you can perform all the actions that you do with Google Assistant on your smartphone. So guys, congratulations on successfully installing Chrome OS on your Windows laptop or desktop. I tested Chrome OS on my Intel i3 8th gen PC and the performance is pretty amazing. If you are facing any problems while installing Chrome OS on your PC, then comment down below and we'll surely help you out. Thank you.